Bacterial pneumonia is a type of pneumonia caused by bacteria, as opposed to viruses, fungi, or other microorganisms. But what is pneumonia at the first place? Well, pneumonia is an infection that inflames the air sacs in one or both lungs. These air sacs, called alveoli, can fill with fluid or pus, making it difficult to breathe. Imagine your lungs as a sponge-like structure with millions of tiny air pockets. When you have pneumonia, these pockets get inflamed and can fill up with fluid, reducing the space for air and making it harder for oxygen to get into your bloodstream. Now let's focus specifically on bacterial pneumonia. This type occurs when bacteria enter the lungs and multiply, causing an infection. The most common bacterium that causes pneumonia is Streptococcus pneumonia, also known as pneumococcus. However, there are many other types of bacteria that can cause pneumonia, including Haemophilus influenza, Staphylococcus aureus, and Mycoplasma pneumonia. Causes of bacterial pneumonia So how do these bacteria get into your lungs in the first place? There are several ways this can happen. Often, it starts with bacteria that are already present in your nose or throat. These bacteria are usually harmless when they stay in these areas, but if they get into your lungs, they can cause an infection. This can happen if you accidentally inhale saliva or mucus containing the bacteria, especially when your body's defenses are weakened. Sometimes bacterial pneumonia can develop after a viral respiratory infection, like the flu. The virus can damage your airways and make it easier for bacteria to invade and cause an infection. This is why pneumonia is a common complication of influenza, especially in older adults or people with weakened immune systems. In some cases, bacteria can enter the lungs through the bloodstream from an infection elsewhere in the body. This is less common but can happen in people with severe infections or those with compromised immune systems. Certain factors can increase your risk of developing bacterial pneumonia. Age is a significant factor. Very young children and older adults are more susceptible. People with weakened immune systems, whether from diseases like HIV or AIDS, or from medications like chemotherapy drugs, are also at higher risk. Chronic diseases such as diabetes, heart disease, or lung conditions like COPD can make you more vulnerable to pneumonia. Smoking is another major risk factor, as it damages your lungs' natural defenses against infection. Symptoms of bacterial pneumonia The symptoms can vary depending on the severity of the infection and the specific type of bacteria causing it, but there are some common signs to look out for. One of the hallmark symptoms of bacterial pneumonia is a cough that produces thick, yellow, green, or even blood-tinged mucus. This is different from the dry cough you might get with a cold or viral infection. Along with the cough, you'll likely experience difficulty breathing. You might feel short of breath or find yourself breathing faster than usual, even when you're resting. Fever is another common symptom. With bacterial pneumonia, the fever tends to come on suddenly and can be quite high, often over 101 degrees Fahrenheit or 38.3 degrees Celsius. You might experience chills and sweating as your body tries to fight off the infection. Chest pain is also common, especially when you cough or take deep breaths. This pain is caused by inflammation in your lungs and the lining around them. Some people describe it as a sharp or stabbing pain, while others might feel more of a dull ache. You'll probably feel very tired and weak. Bacterial pneumonia can really knock you off your feet, making even simple tasks feel exhausting. You might also experience body aches, similar to what you feel with the flu. Other symptoms can include headache, loss of appetite, and confusion, especially in older adults. Some people might experience nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea, although these are less common with bacterial pneumonia than with some other types of pneumonia. It's worth noting that symptoms can sometimes be milder in older adults. Instead of a high fever, they might actually have a lower than normal body temperature. They might also experience confusion or changes in mental awareness as their primary symptom. If you're experiencing these symptoms, especially if you have a high fever, difficulty breathing, or chest pain, it's important to see a doctor. Bacterial pneumonia can be serious and even life-threatening if left untreated. Diagnosis of bacterial pneumonia When you visit a doctor with symptoms of pneumonia, they'll start by asking about your symptoms and medical history. They'll want to know when your symptoms started, how severe they are, 
and if you've been around anyone else who's been sick. Next, the doctor will perform a physical exam. They'll listen to your lungs with a stethoscope. If you have pneumonia, they might hear crackling, bubbling, or rumbling sounds when you breathe. These sounds, called rails, are caused by fluid in your lungs. The doctor will also check your vital signs, including your temperature, heart rate, and breathing rate. People with pneumonia often breathe faster than normal as their body tries to get more oxygen. To confirm the diagnosis and determine what's causing your pneumonia, your doctor will likely order some tests. A chest x-ray is usually the first imaging test used to diagnose pneumonia. It can show areas of inflammation in your lungs that indicate pneumonia. Blood tests are also commonly used. A complete blood count can show if your white blood cell count is elevated, which is a sign that your body is fighting an infection. Blood cultures might be done to see if the infection has spread to your bloodstream. A sputum test can be particularly helpful in diagnosing bacterial pneumonia. For this test, you'll be asked to cough up some mucus from deep in your lungs. This sample can be examined under a microscope and cultured to identify the specific type of bacteria causing your pneumonia. Before we continue, if you have been finding the video helpful so far, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. Treatment for Bacterial Pneumonia Once bacterial pneumonia is diagnosed, treatment typically involves antibiotics. The choice of antibiotic depends on several factors, including the suspected type of bacteria, the severity of your pneumonia, your age, and your overall health. For mild cases of bacterial pneumonia, oral antibiotics that you can take at home are usually sufficient. Common choices include amoxicillin, azithromycin, or doxycycline. You'll typically need to take these for 5 to 7 days, although some newer antibiotics might only require a 3-day course. For more severe cases, or if you have other health conditions that put you at higher risk, you might need to be treated in the hospital. In this case, you receive intravenous antibiotics. These might include stronger antibiotics like ceftriaxone, levofloxacin, or a combination of drugs. It's crucial to take all of your prescribed antibiotics, even if you start feeling better before you finish them. Stopping antibiotics too soon can lead to antibiotic resistance and may allow the infection to come back. Along with antibiotics, treatment for bacterial pneumonia often includes measures to help manage symptoms and support your body as it fights the infection. This might include over-the-counter pain relievers and fever reducers like acetaminophen or ibuprofen. Your doctor might also recommend cough medicine to help control your cough and make you more comfortable, although some coughing is beneficial as it helps clear mucus from your lungs. Staying hydrated is very important when you have pneumonia. Drinking plenty of fluids helps loosen mucus in your lungs, making it easier to cough up. Your doctor might recommend using a humidifier or taking steamy showers to help keep your airways moist. Rest is also crucial. Your body needs energy to fight the infection, so it's important to get plenty of sleep and avoid overexerting yourself as you recover. In severe cases of bacterial pneumonia, additional treatments might be necessary. If you're having trouble getting enough oxygen, you might need supplemental oxygen therapy. In very severe cases, mechanical ventilation might be required to help you breathe. Prevention of Bacterial Pneumonia Prevention is an important aspect of managing bacterial pneumonia. Vaccines are available that can help prevent some types of bacterial pneumonia. The pneumococcal vaccine is recommended for young children, adults over 65, and people with certain health conditions. It protects against streptococcus pneumonia, which is the most common cause of bacterial pneumonia. Other preventive measures include practicing good hygiene, like washing your hands regularly and avoiding close contact with people who are sick. If you smoke, quitting can significantly reduce your risk of pneumonia and other respiratory infections. Now, we want to hear from you. Do you or someone you know have bacterial pneumonia? What symptoms did you have? Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We love to hear them. Thanks for watching.